Hello, everybody. You're here with Claru Beauty with your host, Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today is an exciting video. It's all going to be about hair. <laughs> yes, uh, this has been a request since I beginning, since I started uh, my channel. And, uh, and the question is, how do I do my hair? I never thought I would do a hair video. And here I am. <laughs> Now, yeah, excuse me, it's still wet. It's, I dried it with my towel, but uh, it's still wet. So I haven't even put the products on. So we're gonna do that. If you're interested, please keep on watching. Now, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. All right, so uh, why now? Uh, well, because I'm letting my hair grow. I mean, if you've seen my videos from the beginning of the channel till now, my hair keeps growing and I will let it grow. And if I delay making this video, then I won't be able to show you how I do the style that I've been doing till now, right? Because it's gonna shift, it's gonna change. And also because, because I'm letting it grow, sorry, I, I keep messing with it because I'm like, oh my God. Um, because I'm letting it grow, it's harder and harder uh, to get the what I do. And uh, usually it works the best when I just got the haircut, obviously. So now it's totally out of shape. So we'll see what we come up with. And I don't wanna go and get my hair haircut now because then it just delays growing it out. And I'll tell you why I wanna grow it out, but let's begin. So, you know, you know I'm not just here talking, talking at the beginning. So, uh, yes, it's... Uh, is still wet, especially over here. This is drying now by now. I definitely make sure with the towel to dry it. And I usually put the product right away. I didn't this time, so I have nothing on uh, to show you from the start. But it's already sponging up my hair because of the humidity. <laughs> so the first product, and I swore by it uh, since I cut my hair. This is the Oligo oligo cream now it's supposed to be very organic my hair stylist swears by this and she only uses very um good products for your hair it says develop is osmosis complex technology to expertly calibrate a balance of moisture and shine between your hair and your world it's also infused with seaweed and minerals all to help your hair and color shine bright longer I really, really love this. So this is the first thing I gonna apply. So I just put a little bit, it varies every day. Uh, put a little bit more. So about that, this cream, very, very light, light cream. So I do this and then I just apply it, especially on the sides and on the back. Now to me, this sort of texturizes. What it mean is, it, it takes a little bit of the fluffy or, or uh, heaviness of my individual hairs away. So it kind of smooth uh, throughout the hair. That's why I love it. And so it, it automatically makes me feel my hair smoother, if you know what I mean. Uh, and if you see, the reason I say texturizer, because when I apply it, it gives it a little more help for it to stay up instead of just flap down. If that, I know, I know it's very hair, it's very long on the size. If I, if I would go and get a haircut now, I would definitely put this lower. And then it really, I really like that hairstyle. Um, the reason I'm letting it grow is because I really miss doing this and feeling hair. So I want this to be long just for selfish purposes. I like feeling my hair as I do this. Might not look the best, but uh, I didn't like going like this and then it was done. You know, my hair was short, very easy to work with though. So if you were more in that practical, uh, the hair style that I had was the best. But I'm very feeling and I wanted to feel very, you know, feel my hair all the way back, like a woman, like a longer hair. I don't know, call me crazy, but that's why I'm letting it grow, at least this part. So I think this is a definitely must. 
Now, I want to mention when I used to have long hair, because I used to have my long hair, and I'll do another video with my progress and black to pepper and, and long to short, but this is just what I do nowadays. All right, so when I had a long for years, for years, instead of this, I always use L'Oreal Smooth Velour. Now, they have this for thin hair, for medium hair, for long hair. So um, this is for medium hair. Um, my hair is usually thin. It doesn't look like it because I have a lot, but my hair is thin. Um, but I used to go back and forth between thin and medium. This is a medium, it's almost full because I don't use it since I cut my hair. I now use this one. Oh, and you know what? I didn't bring the shampoos that I use right now. Hmm. I will um, go and get them real quick before we continue. So nowadays I've been using the Orive uh, and I was using the pair of the, con uh, of the Brilliance and Shine, the shampoo and conditioner. I finished the shampoo. I still have some of the conditioner, so I'm still using this. However, I would say that I prefer the um, shampoo and conditioner or rebate, but on the signature formula, uh, which is not the Brilliance and Shine. I find that uh, it gives me more shine and I just prefer it for some reason. I don't mind using this. The difference is very minute, so it really doesn't matter. Um, but right now, um, and for like 10 years, I've been using the L'Oreal uh, Lipidum Absolute Repair Shampoo. And then they have a mask that comes in a thing. I'll list them down below. So these two are my favorite, especially the mask. I know you're supposed to use it like once a week or twice a week, but I used it every day, very tiny little bit and never going to the roots of my hair. But I don't mind this, and when I travel, I definitely like to take that mask as conditioning because when you travel, the water changes, and it always smooths my hair, and it makes it delicious. So I don't mind going back to this. I've been enjoying the Orive. I will repurchase the conditioner, but in the signature, I don't know about the shampoo yet because I'm happy with this too. So just FYI. All right, so let's continue. Um... So once I apply that, and I have all these other products that I that I do on what and what for, but I will I will do my hair, and then we can talk about all of those. So of course, if you've seen my must haves or for Sephora sales or all of those recommendations, I always talk about oof, the um, okay the Dyson. Here it is, the Dyson. So. Uh, and I have explained to you guys that it took me forever to purchase it. And when I first purchased it, I was like, am I crazy paying this money for a hair dryer? But now that I've been using it, of course, now I love it. I couldn't live without it. It's one of those things. It's weird. But um, if you don't spend the money and you're fine with what you got, you won't miss it. But if you purchase it, then you miss it. <laughs> what can I tell you? I love this color. So usually, especially when I had it short, shorter hair and I really was putting it up, I would use more this attachment. But right now I take two minutes blow drying it with this attachment. And the reason, if I'm gonna go out and again, I'll do another video just with the other attachment so you see the difference. For now, for every day, this is what I use. And also point out, Look how my hair is really drying with nothing. And the cream is not allowing it to flat. It's a little flat though, but you know. So what I do is, uh, uh, you'll see, because I have to, to take out the sound for you guys to see and maybe speed it up, but it's so easy. I re literally just do this with the thing on. So let's turn it on and you will watch. So, I am drying my hair, as you can tell. This is the first time I do a voiceover, by the way. <laughs> so, I am going to one side and then to the other. My goal 
is to obviously dry my hair, but as you notice, to kind of make uh, both sides stand up. That's how my haircut was originally made, where the middle should be the highest point. And so I go all the way to the back, all the way to the right, all the way to the left, trying to pick up all those hairs. Now I'm gonna press that bottom button, which makes the air cooler. And that is to set your hair or the blow dry of your hair. So did we accomplish what I was looking for? All right. I mean, it took like two minutes, if not less. So what he did is blow dry. Now, if you notice, my hair was drying a little bit spongy and curly, which I like. And then I'll, I'll tell you my next trick. So sometimes I let it air dry and then just do what we're gonna do next. But if I'm going out or anything, I do use a blow dryer, why? When you use a blow dryer, I don't know if you can tell, my hair gets shinier. And so it looks a lot more finished. And then we'll go to the next step. This is not how I let it dry. But if you wanna look better, blow drying is a much better option because it does bring that shine uh, and I don't know, it seems like it accentuated a little bit my, my peppery colors. So this is where I will change the attachment, how easy. And um, this is a more direct. Now the heat that I'm putting on, I do it in the, in the hottest. So usually this one, I have it in three, it has like four dots, I think. So right now I have it in three because if not, it gets too hot and it might burn me because it's so close. I'm putting the attachment literally on my hair, even, but it has this distance, right, between the heat and, and my hair still. It feels like a massage almost, so I like that too because the, the kind of strings uh, are hitting my head. So I appreciate that as well. But I put it hot, so I put it like in the three dots of heat and then at the end, when I pointed out this button, you press it and it lowers the heat. It's supposed to set your um, hairstyle and give it some shine. When you have long hair and you're blow drying, for sure, I used to use the cool down button. Um, and uh, in that note, um, I do wanna mention, this is not what I will use now, but I do wanna mention uh, when I used to have long hair, Yes, I mentioned this product. This is the one I would use most of the time. But if I really wanted to my hair to blow dry straight and shiny and perfection, it was this product, Color Wow. This is magical for that purpose. For my hair right now, I would never use this. Why? Because I don't want my hair so straight because then it falls down. So even though it looks straight right here, it has a little bit of volume. That's why I use this. Uh, and I don't use a, a brush to do this and blow dry because it will really make the hairs like this one, very straight and flat, and then it's very hard to maneuver. And by the way, I do have all different sizes of this kind of brushes. This is just a few. So uh, I think they're very useful. The first one I show you there comes with the, in a set with the blow dryer. So it's very useful for many things. I won't use it today because I don't use the brushes nowadays uh, because what I said makes them too straight for my volume that I'm looking for. All right, so the second, um, product that I think is a must for my hair do at this moment. So I mentioned this must, but then this one. I mean, if I had to choose between this and this, I will go for this. This is like a, a, a savior. Now, what is this? It's called Hoiko. I will, I will list it down below. It's a hair shape, liquid to powder, texturizing finisher. So, Texturador para acabado líquido. I don't know, it's number four. Uh, so I'll tell you what this is. It's, well, it says texturizer, right? Liquid to powder. 
liquid to powder. But what it does, you see how it starts looking flat? I mean, this is, if I leave it like this and hairspray and whatever, throughout the day, this is starts flattening and flattening and flattening. This is the savior. So if I didn't take a shower in the morning or didn't wash my hair and it's looking flat or it's looking a little dull or whatever, this. Right now, I wash my hair, we're blow drying, doing the whole thing. It's looking in this. So you'll see the difference. So if anything else, I think this one, I can use some others perhaps, like the L'Oreal that I showed you before, but I don't know any other product like this. And I will be talking about something perhaps similar um, that I do use after, but I think this is a must have. All right. So you do have to take it and this is what I do. So I, it's almost like I'm spraying hairspray perhaps, but it's not hairspray. It gives it a little more, uh, I don't know what to say, texture. So now I turn this on. So what I'm doing right now is just making sure that all my hairs are away from my skin, from my forehead. So I'm really making sure the edges of my hair are being blow dry up from both sides. Um, so here we go, it's almost done. It's getting there. I think it took me too long. Usually uh, my hair is a little more wet and I'm not talking in between moves, but uh, this is really what is helping it. Okay, so I had to do this real quick one more time. And since I don't have any music on my phone, um, voiceover. All right, so you see my point. I The one part I like about this product, it doesn't make my hair stiff. You saw I can still put all my fingers through and, and really organize it. Now, the way my hair was cut is kind of in a triangle like this. I don't totally like that idea. I did want it both ends up, um, but that's how it ended up being the last time I cut it. So that's how it is. That's why I have to kind of blow dry this way and then blow dry this way. And it's kind of doing that triangle. Um, and for some reason today, it's, it's, I'm not used to this environment to do my hair. I usually do it in the bathroom. Uh, so, but you get my grief. Another thing that I might do, and let me go and get it because I forgot it. All right, so another thing I might do that I don't do every day, but this is the Sebastian Chine Crafter. This is a wax. And so, moldable wax. So I would take a little bit, very, very tiny bit, it's almost transparent. And then I will just take it in my fingertips and I might apply it on this sides. And I think I saw one of the supermodels, I think Miranda Barr or something, was the one that put me into this, uh, that she said she takes this for these little hairs that kind of don't want to be in place. Uh, she has longer hair, and so she just uses it to make that. And uh, I must admit, I'm not so meticulous with my hair. You know, there's people that really spend the time and every hair is important and they really want to put it in place. I'm not that. You notice in my video, sometimes my hair is like, what? She just woke up. And no, I didn't just woke up. I just throw my things and that's it. I don't notice, I don't put the time, I don't make it very meticulous. So, and I'm not being very meticulous here either. <laughs> However, you know, little bits here and there. And you can tell already how long this is because I would have preferred this to be a little more shave or cut short. Now, on that note, I do have other two products I wanna talk about, but I wanna introduce here certain tools that I found out as a short hair is a must have. 
One is a pair of good scissors and another one is sort of a knife shaver and I'll tell you why. And this was a discovery for me once I cut my hair. So the good scissors, and I will post down below where I bought them. Um, they, and they were not that expensive. So a very good pair of scissors. So the reason I need this constantly is this hair starts going all through my ear. And I think it makes my hair look very messy or not nice. I mean, granted, a lot of things don't look nice now that I'm in between haircuts, but I find that it makes a big difference. So I cut here, click, 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 just the line. And I cut here. But then I reduce this part, just like vertical things like this, randomly. Ticky, 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 ticky. And here too. Vertical, and it makes the sink a little messy with all the hairs. So I do that before taking a shower, so I clean it all out. So I think this is important to me because this, I want this reduced. Sometimes I go a little ticky, ticky up here. I'm not supposed to. It's not really a good move on my part. But I just do it, okay? Just do it. So, but this particular thing, I like a little reduced because it simulates when I used to have my long hair, you know, when you pull this up and you put it in, in a bar, bar it or something, I like this a little up. So I just reduce this quite a bit. You might not be able to tell because this grows kind of is this thick, it just start growing, but I reduce it so it gets closer to my skin. So definitely a good pair of scissors, and I'll list down below the ones I bought, I bought them on Amazon. And this one, which my hairdresser really recommend, which is sort of a knife, I never saw this tool, comes with this pocket. So you open it, what brand is this? Facon Premier Razors. So, the razor, you can change it. It came with different razors, this part. I never done it, so I don't know if you pull it. I think you pull it or you, I'm not gonna mess with it right now, but there's a, a knife there that you can change. And so what this is useful, because what I found out now that it's short, is that I started getting a lot of hairs here. I guess like a beer or a sideburn <laughs> that I never did with long hair. So I guess when this is long, that's it. But when this getting this short, it started going below and growing hair there. Yes, it's weird. So I bought this and you just put it like this and just kind of shave it down and shave it down. That easy. But it cleaned a little bit of the hair that started growing there. Weird things, I know. That started happening since I cut my hair. So this tool, I think it's a must. And I guess if you're a male. <laughs> okay, so scissors and knife. I wanted to mention that. So let's continue with the hair. Usually I will leave it like that. Now, if I wanted to just set it, I would use, and this is long hair, short hair. This is the Sebastian Shaper Plus. This is the hair spray that I use. I've tried many different ones. I really like this. I buy the extra hole and it's, it holds, but it's not really stiff or bad. It doesn't have a strong smell. So this one, I do it at the end sometimes. Um, and if my hair needs a little more fluff, kind of like this, but lighter, um, then I use this black light oligo. I think it's the same brand as, oh no, it's not. All right. Well, so this is Oligo Hairspray. This is Voluminizing Shine Hairspray. Um, I don't love this. I've been trying it. I'm like here. So if my hair is too flat, I probably will use this and then fluff it up with my hands. If it's done like today, I'm okay with it. I will use just a setting spray. Just, just so you will last a little like that. And that's it. All right, now a couple of last uh, minute products. Um, when I used to have long hair, I used to put this leave-in treatment, uh, Repair Protect and Chine Argan Oil. 
Now, there is the most common brand, which is a little blue. What is it called? Egyptian oil or something like that? It's an argan oil. Uh, Moroccan oil or something. I don't like that one. It's supposed to be the same thing, but I don't like it. It has blue. This brand I like. Now, it's been harder and harder to get for some reason. And so I'll put the link below, but because it's been harder to get, I think they raised their price. I still bought it um, anyhow, and I still have this and another leftover because sometimes they sell it in pairs. But I love this one. It's an argan oil. And I never put it close to my scalp, always towards the ends, but it really protected, give shine if you have longer hair. Not this short. I don't use it with this short hair. The other item that I really enjoy is this Sebastian Trilliant. This one is um, Sparkle Complex. This is Thermal Protection and Sparkle Complex uh, Protection. Okay, so it gives you some shine. Now this, I barely use it because if you notice, this has helped with the shine. This one has helped with the shine. I mean, everything is shine, 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 food, shine. But you know, if I wanted to like extra, extra, I don't know when that is, but I would just apply it. It's, it smells nice, kind of that fancy salon sort of smell. <laughs> uh, and it has sparkles. So it's kind of makeup for your hair, if you know what I mean. Sparkles, uh, very, very understated. You will never know. It's not like Halloween sparkles, uh, but it definitely adds sparkles where your hair might look shinier, even though it's not your hair looking shinier, if you know what I mean. So very different sort of than the other products I just spoke about. All right, and last, uh, everybody goes wild and crazy for the Olaplex. This is sold in Sephora and they have, this is number three. They have, you know, the shampoo, the conditioner, the kind of oil, the after, the ba da da da, -da. I have tried them all. I don't really have seen a big difference. I don't miss any of them when I don't have them or when I don't use them. So that's why I wouldn't say to recommend it, even though I see many people recommending them. So maybe it works for you. For me, mm, I still use it because I still have some, obviously. Now, this is the reason I brought the number three. I think there were only two that I really like. The other one is the number seven, I think. It's the oil. But if you ask me, I prefer this organ oil. Uh, but this one, I mention it because this one is repairs and straighten all hair types, number three. So when I go in the bathtub, which I do go often, I apply this in my hair sometimes for, you know, mask for the hair, maybe. Do I see a big difference? No, not really. I do it because, you know, I'm like, I'm, I want to put a mask in my hair. <laughs> I really recommend you to try the um, the mask that comes with the L'Oreal. It's this color as well. I don't have right now the bucket. It's a big one. It's over there. But uh, that one as a mask is delicious. I use it as a conditioner every day while I clean the rest of my body. So it lasts on me one minute, two minutes every day. And I think it makes a big difference. Uh, but if you lack a volume, you might not like that heavy conditioning uh, before, you know, because it might flatten your hair more than usual. To me, I have volume in my hair, as you notice, naturally. So to me, it's more important to take the frizz out and obviously to make shiny. And now that I, move, that I use my hair up, I do like some texture to it, thus this one. All right, I think I got everything I wanted to share with you. Ooh. I apologize that I was rumbling fast, but I didn't know how long this video was gonna take me. And that's my dog. <laughs> he had to be in the video, of course. Uh, but I am very pleased. I hope you are too. So please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you haven't done so, please ring the bell in the right hand corner please comment down below what are your favorite hair products um and thumbs up and oh last thing 
the blue uh, sort of purple shampoos. I try expensive, inexpensive, all kinds. I don't like them. Even the Oribe brand, super expensive. They have one for, you know, reducing the copper for blonde hair and for white hair. And um, um, it doesn't help with the texture of your hair. So to me, I prefer to feel my hair softer and just healthier than, and put shine in it than anything else. So that's on me. FYI. All right. That's all for today, folks. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.